What is going on, everybody? And we are live once again at Doomsday's Crypt. And tonight, I got a package from Miss Antonia France. We call her Tony, Michael Toth's mother. And I also got one from Michael Toth, the artist for Doomsday's Crypt. Huge boxes by both of them, really. I don't know where I'm going to fit all the stuff that Michael sent. A lot of it's going to be on uh, the Doomsday Script table starting in, in July at Kansas City, July 7th through the 9th. So anybody who's going to that, I'm looking forward to meeting you guys there. Hopefully we can go a little longer tonight. <clears throat> I took away the three-eyed demon because I want Josh Lucas back on to talk about the three-eyed demon when he's not having technical issues. He worked really hard on it, and we're going to wait to display it until uh, – we can get them on without so much, uh, well, where we can hear them at least. But uh, welcome to the stream, guys. I got, like I said, a few boxes here I want to unbox. And uh, the first one next to me, and I barely got any room. I moved the desk way forward. Is, oh, hey, you know what, Tony? This is probably the perfect gift. Uh, incredibly thoughtful, especially with being on the road. That's awesome, Tony. How cool is that? That is that is honestly a great gift. I really appreciate that. Um, I know you. It was all thought out. You know I'm going on the road. And you want me to be safe, and I can't thank you enough. But we got a lot of, as you see, Michael Toth behind us. I got my, my light so we can do that instead of me having to get up and down each time. But how cool is some of the stuff I displayed behind me? We got more. I know we got some pops and just a bunch of everything here and what am i gonna do i guess i will move this box somehow now this is how tight the room is i just got a little bit of space over here a little space over here and the door is right there so it gets a little tight for these unboxings <laughs> but um let me uh put on the light so i can see what i'm getting at here yeah not being able to fit the banner all the way across made this piece useful tonight. But all right, I'm telling you, I'd show you this this box down here. It's huge. Um, I don't even know where to start. He said there's something funny here. I see a bunch of curly hair. I got a feeling. Mike always sends me something just out of the blue and funny. So I'm looking forward to that. Now, this is a really, really awesome piece. Uh, you guys know. Beatrice will be at Kansas City Crypticon the 7th through 9th with me. She got announced last week, and she was also announced at Scarefest, Kentucky. So my first and my last event, Beatrice will be sitting at the table. So Mike doing all that badass art from her movie Quarantine. A lot of people haven't seen that. Um, we might do a live uh, watch party with Beatrice on that movie. I really liked it. Um but that's an amazing portrait of Beatrice. I know she loved it. She saw it. She was really blown away by it. Um, and we got more pops. Like we're gonna test a lot of these out on, on the uh, on the tables at these uh, convention tables. One of them's in Denver at Crypticon, and Michael Bailey Smith's there. And we figured with the video games and stuff, the video game Michael Myers might put some sick art of Super Freddy. Oh, maybe I'll send a picture of that to Michael Bailey Smith. Looking forward to meeting him in person. He was an awesome guest. I know he's a good friend of Brett's. And uh, they go back a long way going for the same roles because they're big dudes. Um, I just don't want to mess anything up here. All right. Oh, this is great because in Scarefest, Daniel Harris and um, Scout Taylor Compton already announced. They just announced Nick Castle, which is really cool. The original Michael Myers. But this one's a Halloween 4 or 5 version there, really 4. But the art is sick. Uh, definitely going to get... Somebody's going to want to buy that off the table to get her autograph. And if they don't, they're in trouble. Because I'm just going to get her autograph and put it on there. Big Daniel Harris fan. She's my favorite Halloween girl. Jamie Lee Curtis. I'm sorry, Lori Strode. Uh, I'm Jamie. I'm Team Jamie. But uh, all right, let's see here. I want to take things out carefully. Cause, oh my goodness, my some of my favorite stuff. <sighs> Beanie Town. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Mike. Always looking out, my dude. Now, before I keep getting going, I I can't thank Mike enough for all the artwork. I mean, he pretty much 
took one picture and we've done all this really he's done all this amazing artwork and with the vhs boxes now these new pop boxes that you can see behind me and they're sick in the dark so we're gonna turn them off and some of them still need to be lit up um the one next to doomsday crypt lit up one there is uh it's a predator one and he had it for a certain purpose you can write it in the chat i don't know what the deal is with it but that's a black light um the box over here next to the the three-eyed demon box is actually tamara glenn box uh sending her some love she's been going through a difficult time anybody who's been following her um just know your fans love you and we all support you and hope things all get a lot better for you and i will talk to you soon if you happen to check out the stream i do have a box from her too i was gonna see if i got enough time but i got some funkos and some stuff she sent to me uh, while i was in florida so i haven't had a chance to unbox it and we might do it tonight if not we'll do it tomorrow do a special unboxing of her stuff but here we go back at it boom this thing is handy i'm telling you other than you guys having to listen to a bang Here's a great one, too. Here's another new box. Um, you know, let me see what I can do here, Mike. We might be able to, to light these up here. Um, boom, boom. Remove this. All right. Um, this is really cool. This is the Creep Show one I'm pulling out now. And uh, Josh Lucas, if you're out there, uh, I'm not displaying the three-eyed demon yet. We're going to wait until you get on, and we're going to talk about that piece. Real sorry about the stream last night. I know he was really bummed out. Josh is an awesome guy. He does amazing work, and we are going to talk to him. We're going to talk to him about his work. We're going to have more of his stuff on the table. We got projects I definitely want to work with Josh in the future on. So, yeah, great guy. I felt horrible he, he was having technical issues because I know how excited he was to come on and and see the unboxing of the demon here we go all right multitasking don't knock things over john i could just sit by with one of these by here that's kind of kind of cool but here's an example of these boxes he's doing and they come with remote controls so you can you'll see when he posts them in his shorts if you play music to them they sound sensitive so the lights will go with it so if you get you know you pop in a let's see how saturday night fever put one of these on put on some disco you know dance it out but that's really cool and i got a few of these so we'll be looking at some more uh let me not unplug the wrong one i guess it doesn't it doesn't want to come off there mike here we go all right let me find a spot for this Oh, goodness. There's never enough room. Let's see. It's a good thing, though, too. I'd probably just... I'd be one of those hoarders with all this horror stuff. Oh, this one's one of my favorites. I know um, Beatrice was excited for this one. And some of you guys might have seen it who've, who've watched the... Uh, who check out the Facebook group. But this, this came out awesome. I know she was really shocked how cool it came out. And... I'm going to talk to her. We'll probably be displaying it at these conventions. I'll take it with me, and then we'll let her take it home. But uh, I thought this was really cool, and Mike went all out. The Beatrice Bupley Nightmare on Elm Street 5 box. I'll show you some of the detail. I don't know how well you can see it on the back. He really did an amazing job here. And that's a piece of art that he did that Beatrice owns the original. He did for Phantasm, and she really likes that Funko Pop look, and it worked out with this box. This thing came out sweet, Mike. Incredible in person. Incredible. Oh, my other light came on here. All right. I know what's up. All right. Let's, without breaking things, especially this, I don't want to feel the, the curse of Freddy's mom killing me for, for damage in that. But all right, let's uh, turn these lights back on. We'll be turning them on and off quite a bit here. Uh, what's James Roth? Yes, yes. I got actually one of your gloves right here, part five. We'll put that. We'll put one of these by it. We got part threes. What else we got? I got 
I got part threes, a part four, a couple part fives. These things came out sick. I really like the part part five glove. And with Beatrice being at two conventions, Michael Bailey Smith's gonna be in Denver. These will be I think these will be really nice for the table. They came out awesome. So yeah, real happy, man. Real, real happy with these. Very cool. Check out James Roth. I forget the name of his group. It's uh it's it's his glove group. And he's he's been I don't know, it's been building pretty quick. Been a, a great group of people in there. Yeah, that part, yeah, the box came out awesome. Let me uh even without the lights on, let's take a look at this. You know, put some of his art. We've done a lot of art for Beatrice. Everybody knows she's the best. We all love her here in the crypt. Yeah, that box came out sick. I think we'll be displaying it. It's, I don't think it's going to be a for sale item. That's going to be a, a Beatrice piece, but we're going to display it, show off Mike's Mike's mad skills. Man, Jesus. All right. Um, <laughs> That's too, oh my god, now I see what he's done. I seen what you've done, Toast. That's hilarious. And I just don't have room. That's what sucks. Um I don't. Yeah, it comes from Funko. Yeah, dude. I'll tell you, I really Mike knows I'm not a huge Funko guy, but these light up boxes and stuff, man, I dig them. I dig them big time. And we're gonna have the ones with the art on them. Like I even got, let's see, I got the Elvira one here. He did some cool art. We even had her sign it. Is this one of the signed? Yeah, there it is. Boom. We only two of them in existence right now. And two of the, uh, the VHS boxes. Mike's artwork again. Signed by Cassandra Peterson. She was really cool. Still looks amazing. And well, so we since we talked about Tam, we got the Tam Glenn box. We even did a give, giveaway on that one. Some of Michael Toast's art. And he's always been awesome. It's like anytime I ask him for something, the dude gets, I mean, he's on it before I even finish the sentence. So I appreciate you, Mike. Appreciate all you do. Oh, this one's a cool one. Um, wow. this, this one's sick right here. This one plugs in. Let me not pull on this too much. I know we got a lot of Texas Chainsaw Massacre fans here. I own the original piece, and I've had a few of them signed. Like I, I know it's, you know, it's part one leather face, but uh, yeah, I just have all, all. It's such a cool one with the "I want you," but it's an awesome box too. So let me. Uh, feels like this one has a little more wire, which is cool. Uh, I gotta get some more of those battery packs. Make life a lot more easy. That is for sure. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah. Let me show some of the art around it, and then we'll turn off that light. Just some cool art that he's done. The Kemper Kill. Leatherface. So he put all of them on there. I think that's that's really cool. Badass piece. Let's, put on, let's turn off the... Uh, like I said, another thing with the put on lights. These things are just awesome. I think they're cool. Cool as hell. And hit up the dude Michael Toth on Facebook. You can always find him or you look for Ricky Spanish in the comment section. He's usually here. Yeah, I think sick, dude. These are going to be awesome. And at like the first event, I'll be right by um, Mark Burnham from, from uh, the new uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Beatrice is going to be there. That's I'm excited for that. It's gonna be here before I know it. Like I'm trying to get stuff all organized as it is. Um because July 7th through the 9th is gonna be here before I know it. Yeah, Michael Toth is a special talent, man. And it's funny, I've I've known Mike for a long time, and it was back when I was a huge Walking Dead fan. And I met him on Facebook. I don't even really really remember how. And I'm like, that's really cool. And he did the telltale games, he did Clementine and Ali. And I'm like, would you do a Negan? And he did a Negan piece. And it's like, dude, if I ever do something, and this was that long before I even thought about doing like Doomsday's Crypt or horror stuff. And 
I, mean, I told him a long time ago, I'm like, dude, I'm going to hit you up at some point. He's probably, yeah, sure. And I don't know, like four or five years later, here we are. We're working together and do it. he's doing all this amazing stuff. And yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. I think his art style fits Doomsday's Crypt just so well. And there's so many talented artists, but it just fits. It fits what we do. This leather face is awesome. Um, yeah, damn, I got this stupid light glaring on it. Let me uh, let me turn this light off. I'm gonna plug the other one in, but we're gonna turn this on. Just go through the detail of the box. Um, this one I love. I mean, I really love how he's and he's been doing that. He just did the uh, what is it, the the uh, the the bunny massacre one. That one's cool. But I, I really dig it. I will turn off the lights. Oh, forgot. The original Leatherface. I, I really love the Leatherface Wants You. I own the original on that. Like it, like I said, I've had a few of them sign it. Uh, Bill Johnson signed it. Um, Jennifer Bonko signed it. So got a few more, but I'll be seeing a lot of Leatherfaces. I'll have Brett sign it too when I see him. Be seeing him an awful lot. Hopefully, he's killing it out there. I know he's having a blast, and uh, a, quite a few other friends out there. Mark Kerr with the slasher nurse out there with Michael McGlynn sport. Michael McGlynn sporting that sweet stash, man. But yeah, we'll turn that light on. Um, who else is there? I know Amy Cody's out there. Um, God, I know there's a lot of people out there. Angel Bradford, great guest list. So anybody who might happen to be tuned in and was at uh, Carolina Fear Fest, I hope you had a great time. And that thing's insane with Brett being at the table table in Denver. And then there's three other shows we're both at. Uh, Got to have that cool leather face for our dude, Brett. So we'll have more of the 03 Camper Killer stuff, but always have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you, this box is stacked. My boy Mike, always coming through with the uh, the fire. Uh, this this one's awesome too. Here we go, the Kemper man, the Kemper killer. Big swag. This box came out sweet. I think it's going to be one that we're going to plan on doing something. Me and Brett will do something cool with this box um, at one of the events we're at. We'll plan something out. So you might just have to travel and follow us around if you want this this uh, sweet leather face box here. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Good to see you, man. Love to get you on the show at some point, Phil. I know you've been real busy with your job and stuff. Um, yeah, there's more packs. Yeah, I'm just reading some of the chat now. We love you too, Tony. I I, I really love the gift. It's perfect because it's something I would have forgotten at the last minute. And with all the traveling I'm doing, I got a small toolkit, but having that is really nice with the jumper cables. You you rock, Tony. Now I don't know if the, this one does look. I don't have the controller on me, so the colors might change on it. But I know some of them are just straight color. But either way, that thing is sick. Loving the creativity, Mike. Just awesome. And, well, you know, you'll be seeing these all behind me. And if you see them at events, we got the cutouts. I put the cutouts out so you guys could see them. The Sam, these light boxes. I really like this, the uh, Night of Li uh, Return of the Living Dead. That's an awesome one right there. Tarman in the middle. You got... Uh, Tom Matthews and Linnea Quigley. Oh, yeah. And then you got the Beatrice cut out up over here. You got the three-eyed demon. And then you got uh, uh, John Kassir, the Crypt Keeper. And uh, I forget the name of the bunny. I know I remember the anima Animaniacs it's from, but I don't remember. It's like Buster or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. But let's see here. There's still more, guys. I told you, this shit, huge box of stuff. I'm trying to figure out how to get this this one out. This one's a big-ass 
this one I've, I've been excited for. All right, this tape on it, please don't. Let me get Of course, the bubble wrap got put, pulled on it. There we go. The sticker on the side came off here. But I saved it, Mike. I saved it. Quinn Lord's going to be at a few events that I'm at. Let's see, where is he going to be at? Um, he's going to be at Midwest Monster Fest. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be at uh, Crypticon. And I'm, he might be at, Qu at uh, Scarefest. Scarefest and all these events have such amazing people coming, but. And Scarefest has just, uh, damn, they got so many guests, it's not even funny. That that event is awesome. That's going to be a fun one to finish the year off. They just announced Jack Osborne. Um, what was that? You see what the rapping? And I didn't, you know what? I didn't even look because I'm so, I didn't. Um, damn. He set up this whole funny thing, and I forgot that he put it in there, and, uh, I missed what he had. Let's see. Well, shit, is this... Now, this is going to be very valuable. It's going to be big money shit. I'm finishing the stream like this. That's... Man, that shit is awesome. I don't think I've ever looked better. Pretty sweet. Smells like uh, it was... Sitting in a box. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Mike. Coming through with the beanies. Got the controllers down there. All right. So what did we do? Oh, you did. This one's really cool. Again, we got a few Funko Pops. Mike's been doing awesome with them. And uh, oh, let me put this over here. Uh, Mike's been doing awesome with them and with Michael Bailey Smith coming in. It's, I, we figured the retro Jason was perfect for Michael Bailey Smith. So we did a couple of these. And I'll probably hold on to these till, uh, till the Denver event and figure out something to do with those. But I love those. And then we got more. Give me more. All right. Elvira. And we got all the Elvira stuff right next to me. We got, um, did I move? Oh, I did move it. But we got the Elvira box. Signed by Cassandra Peterson, like doing all that dope ass art on it. But yeah, yeah. Oh my. Badass box. Let's see this thing lit up. Let's see what's up with this. And we are getting down. There's but there's still there's still quite a bit more, folks. I told you, it's a small room in here, and it's a big-ass box. Okay. All against the sides. Okay, all right, I see it right now, bud. Thanks, man. Appreciate the heads up. Because I knew he sent me stuff, and I, I wasn't sure if he sent me all of it or part of it or which part he was sending. So, yeah, it's it's quite the uh, amazing work. Like it's it's I love having Michael Toth on the table. Like I said, his art. These cutouts with the black light cutouts, these things, I got a bunch of them too. So a little, if you go to one of these conventions, we're going to have the cutouts. We're going to have these boxes. We're going to have the Funko Pops, the Freddy gloves, you know, and, other, and that's just Mike. We got so many other people that are going to be on the table, but we're definitely not going to be short on anything art and some really, really cool art. But here we go. Oh, she fell over. Give me a break, man. I'll, I'll fix that. That's she died. No wonder she's so scared. She's she's in shock. She's seeing herself. She's rising out of her body to go. Look at her. Oh my god. She is disappointed. But the box is sweet. It's easy to stand them up in these things. I'll figure out. That's that's unfortunate. That sucks. But I will be seeing Mike a lot this year. I'm hoping to anyway, or in the in the future. I know we're doing one thing I haven't really announced yet. Well, he will be somewhere with us. I don't I don't think I announced that he's gonna be there yet. You could tell everybody, Mike, but I don't know if we're keeping it top secret, keeping her on that down low. But uh all right. 
I got more. Let's see what we got. All right. Oh, this, oh, this, this one might be my favorite piece, and I'm excited to um, show my neighbor. All right. The wire's stuck in the uh, the hat. Another Beanie Town. We're going to Beanie Town here, but the hat's caught on the wire or the strap. There we go. Another beanie. We got your beanies too. There'll be a lot of beanies. I'll be signing autographed beanies at conventions. That's a joke. But if you want a beanie, we got a beanies. All right. So this one's really, really cool. I should turn it off first. That's all right. It's still is good with turned on. The head cutting scene from uh, the remake Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's going to be sick. We'll put that next to Mark Burnham. He's the table right next to us. So we do got some plans of some cool, cool stuff. Ten bucks signed beanies. Normally the beanies are ten bucks, but if I sign it for you, it'll be eight. All right. But all joking aside, yeah, I, mean, I really love this one. This one's really creative. <laughs> oh, did it? I'll get. I'll send you more shirts, Tony. Your family. I got you. I got you. Me. I'll, I got a plan, Mike. We're gonna do something, and we'll figure it out. It'll have to be top secret. You can't tell Tony. Can't tell your mother. Man, I'm running out of room to put shit, Mike. All right. Let's see. It's going to be a very, very, very bright area behind me. Now, let's see. We're getting down to the nitty-gritty. We're getting there. Um, I'm going to save the last two boxes. We got two more boxes. But we got some... Uh, <coughs> we got some cool-ass artwork here for our Leatherface fans. Swag, if you're watching. Hope you killed it. He was so... <laughs> Look at that smile. Oh, that's a sick picture. It really came out... It came out in, insane. Like, it, the detail on his face. That is cool. Once again. Awesome artwork. Got to put it in the top, top loader hard case. That's how I put all my stuff in. That way I know it's safe when I travel. It doesn't get bent. Let's see. We're down to the last two guys. Another Mark Burnham here. Oh, this is the... Oh, I love this one. Because uh, I hadn't seen it. This one um, might confuse um, Shazam to this. And it came out really sick. I'm looking forward to turning this one on. But very cool stuff. Awesome image. Really, really cool. These are I, I I really, really love these these things right here. Very creative, very cool, cool item. Between all this stuff, the VHS boxes, the Funko Pops, and not to mention all the other talent. These Doomsday's crypt tables are gonna be insane. The three-eyed demon being unveiled there. That piece, you just can't until you see it in uh in person you just don't understand but all right we'll do it without the lights with the lights on and bang that shit's awesome very cool mike badass he, there was i think there was a crack or something and so he used the uh the lightning bolt on it and um yeah and he made it into you know made it work on the art and he wound up going through a shazam figure that he was trying to figure out what to do with and uh he figured something out pretty good i like it a lot let me unplug this yeah stuff's awesome the stickers are selling out making stickers yes yeah, stickers everything you want it we got it we got it for you what do you like we got it Oh, we'll make it. Always, we're always bringing in that cool art. And then I know Alex Vincent and Christina Lee are going to be at a lot of these. 
They just got announced at Denver Crypticon. That's a stacked event. They just announced Heather Landing Camp there. Um, all these events are announcing amazing people. Um, Monster Expo. Monster Expo's got Brett. Um, I forgot, I'm drawing a blank. They got. A, they just announced a few cool people. Sherry Curry is going to be there. Um, Quinn Lord, I believe, is at that one. No, that's that's Midwest. That's Midwest. I'm getting them confused, but I got to pull them up. They're all announcing amazing people. Very cool. Abdul Obligata. <laughs> Badass, dude. In the back, kind of. That's sick. So we're going to see a lot of the Child's Play cast this year. I met them before. Really cool. You ever get a chance to get to some of these events? Definitely check out the uh, the Child's Play people. Christina Lee and Alex Vincent are real cool. Be seeing them again for a few times. And then I think there's some other stuff. There's more beanies. There's more. Got plenty of beanies. We'll beanie it up. Let's see. Let me turn this off. Get more organized here so I can turn on the light. Boom. All right. So I think the rest is just controllers, battery packs. Okay, I got more battery packs. Oh, nope. That's it. That is it. We finally got to the end of it. I uh, appreciate it. <laughs> we finally got there. We made it. We made it. But all this art that you see behind me, and I'm going to remove you myself so you can take a look everybody i'll be back so some stuff other stuff this is uh on the top over here though the skull looking thing uh that's a uh crossover of um the crazies from brett's movie and then in the uh, eye is um is leatherface so it's a really cool piece And then you see the Art the Clown. That's kind of a crossover for the Fuzz on the Lens guys. They're really cool. They own, I, Tyler Main owns the one where he's the Cyclops. And I gave that to him at Phantasm. And um, Mike Levy owns the Art the Clown and the Abnormal Attraction. So, yeah, really cool stuff. I got a box from Tamara Glenn. You know, we can we can take a look at that. Let's see, it's 1030. Yeah, we'll go another like till ten thirty or something. I know I bought a few things from her, and so we got a Funko Pop. Oh, that's all. I... Oh, maybe she sent. And she sent me a couple other things. So a cool Tamara Glenn autograph. Samantha from Halloween 5 was a great guest on the show with me. Our first show um, on, of DK and the B. Our first guest on DK and the B, I should say. It wasn't our first show, but let's take a look. Got Tam Glenn here. Some cool autographs. Everybody's favorite blonde from Halloween 5. I really like the Savage Vengeance. That one's really cool. Mike uh, drew the image we put on the VHS box. We only made a few, uh, but we did a giveaway with her and stuff, so that was pretty cool. She's been doing real well with her acting lately. She was in Terrifier 2, and if you haven't seen uh, uh, Vengeance by Jason Brooks, she's in that, and she's uh, got a few upcoming. I love this one. Very nice, awesome picture of her, and, of course, Halloween 5. I love that poster art from Halloween 5. But our friend Tam Glenn. Thank you so much, Tam. That was great. She uh, she really set it up um, nicely for me. and One of the very nice people out there. If you ever get a chance to meet Tam Glenn, say hi to her. Get an autograph. And, uh, yeah, she's one of the cool ones out there. But, yeah, if there's any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, not going to keep it too long again. Some really great stuff from Michael Toth. Cannot thank you enough. Always coming through like a champ. Um, just uh, 
everything he does is so amazing i wish i had like a bigger house so i could display even more all the time i'm always changing it up as you guys see but i own so much cool stuff from michael toth unfortunately i can't keep it all so if you see us at conventions and we're going to be opening up the shop you'll be able to order some of these things and get some cool michael toth art and it helps support doomsday's crypt and our artist michael toth when you guys do buy these things not that you have to, not that you have to go spending money, but we will have the shop open. We'll have some really cool things in there if you can't make it to a convention. Uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe. I'm going to start doing that. Hopefully uh, we can keep building up the, uh, the community and working together and doing some fun things. Thank you again, Tony. I'm going to put this in my truck on Monday. Make sure it's there and ready to go. Even got a shovel. I mean, this thing's awesome. That's a cool-ass kit right there. Um, but, yes, thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the support. Um, I know we got some really cool shows in the works. I don't have any scheduled per se. I don't know if you guys uh, check out some other horror channels, but Dean Knight, he's in the U.K. He's one of the people that I watched him work when I was you know, first starting to become a collector and and doing this and, and seeing what amazing work he does, painting the figures, customers. He does like a, a James Jude Courtney that I'd love to get figure that it's James Jude Courtney unmasked with the burned face, the dead eye. It's it's incredible. So he'll be coming on the show, and that's going to be cool. Yeah, that mask is sick. What did I do with it? Yeah, I can't forget about the mask, man. Man, I'm going to... I'm gonna cosplay that shit every convention. Keep it on the down low. Disco John, Disco DK. You know, that's how I roll. All right, peace out, guys. It's been a lot of fun, and uh, I'll let you know. Maybe I'll come live tomorrow, and I, keep your eyes open because as soon as I can get Josh Lucas and myself together, and we can get a good connection with him, we're gonna sit there and talk to him, and we're gonna take some look. At, a look at his three-eyed demon he sculpted and yeah do some lighting with that as well because the eyes glow it's sick it's me and we will see you guys all soon peace out check out the facebook youtube i'm on instagram i'm doing tiktok now i'm not doing any tiktok videos though just uh announcing what we're going to be doing and and guess but peace out and we will talk to you soon